Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube from BPFS, that's Bravo, Popper, Foxtrot, Sierra, hyphen online.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a customer using Cashflow. Your Cashflow software may look slightly different to the software I have up on the screen. The procedure of adding a new customer is exactly the same. The difference is purely the layout or perhaps the color of the software. My modules are down the left here, customers, suppliers, bank, etc. Yours may be along the top, and you may just have a white background instead of this beigey gray sort of background. So how to create a customer on Cashflow? Simply go to the customer module and click. You'll then have a list of customers that you have on cash flow. You'll have a value, which is the amount they've paid you to date, so the value of that customer, and you'll have an outstanding balance. There's currently no invoices on cash flow against these customers, so there's no outstanding balances. Obviously, that outstanding balance is an accumulation of all outstanding invoices. If you don't have any customers on cash flow, you won't have a list. This screen will be basically blank and you'll have some big writing saying something like add a customer or add your first customer and there'll be a big button and you press that and that will take you to the create customer screen. Alternatively, if you have a similar screen to me, just click create at the top here and you can create a new customer. So enter the name of the customer, let's do BP. FS. You can then enter a customer code, but this is generated automatically. But I know some businesses and companies out there like their own coding system. Generally, these are something like the first three letters of the customer followed by three numbers. So this currently says BPFS01. So let's just do BPF001. Down the bottom, we're asked which screen we would like to go to once the customer is created. Just leave the default to return to main customer page and then click create customer. The customer has now been created, but we can add and edit their details by clicking contact details. We can fill in the customer address, enter the postcode of the customer, the title and full name of the customer, their telephone number, a mobile number, fax, email address, and their web address. And it's as easy as that. To view outstanding invoices on customer accounts, to edit information, and to do other things with customer accounts, please watch my other videos as this will be covered in other videos. Thank you for watching. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube.